Welcome back as we celebrate Love Week here on PTL. It's time for Team PTL to gather around for a talk about matters of the heart. Yeah, we have all assembled here, and Natalie Bensavenga is here as well with some relationship questions that were submitted to her Post Gazette mm -hmm. advice column. Ask Natalie. And we will weigh in on the answers as well. Oh, so yes. welcome, Natalie. So happy Hello. to have you here. So we want to get right to it because I know okay. we're all going to have opinions. Uh -oh. So we got to get to talking. No. This um, crew. <laughs> all right, so, <laughs> Natalie, someone writes in to you, a okay. 40-year-old uh, who says yeah. that he's been around uh, he's been around the block. He's been mm -hmm. married, divorced. Yeah, and he's rebuilding his life. Rebuilding his life. Met Lost a lot. Mm -hmm. Now engaged, and yeah. he wants to ask for a prenup. Yeah. And this one was really interesting because when he reached out to me, he was really hesitant about asking for a prenup because he really is in love with this woman. Mm -hmm. He does not, it, this isn't, oh, I don't know if this is gonna work out. This is, I'm totally in love with her. But because I was burned so badly, oh, yeah. he broke down like what had happened financially to him and after his last divorce. And you know, he he really struggled to rebuild his life. And like he, working paycheck to paycheck. Absolutely, that way, right? yeah, for a long time. Yeah. And he finally has sort of gotten to a place where he's not in that space anymore. And he wanna know, do you think it's appropriate to ask her. And what did you say? Because yeah. I think it's, oh, it's, I, in theory, I think it's okay, but, I, but think, I don't know how you ask it. I think we have to look at this as insurance. Mm -hmm. It's an insurance policy, right? You have insurance on your car. You're not expecting your car to get smashed, right? <laughs> right. You have insurance on yourself, right? You're not expecting to get sick, but I think we have to look at it as a form of insurance. We're not expecting the marriage to go badly, but in case it does, that 1% chance you know, everybody's sort of protected. And it's a negotiation, so it's not like she has to sign it if she doesn't like it. Yeah. They can yeah. have their lawyers negotiate it. I, I have mixed feelings. I mean, prenups, it just I know, I can see your like, face. I'm like, tell well, me. No, no, no. And I, I see <laughs> everything that you're saying. I, I think that that's 100% true. But I always felt like, well, then you're going into the marriage thinking, right. we may get divorced one yeah. day. Right. Yeah. So I don't know. How does that, that, that has to be a hard conversation to have. Yeah, that's why it's fun just doing it via email because <laughs> I don't actually have to look at anyone right. while I'm giving them this tough love, you know? What do you guys think? I think it's okay. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I do. I think, you know, I kind of agree with you. Mm -hmm. I don't think it means that, you know, some, we, something is going to happen. I, I don't, I'm not 100% invested in this. I, I think right. even if you are so in love like this man mm -hmm. is with his mm -hmm. fiance, right. mm -hmm. I think it's okay. I, I Hmm. I would have no problem with it if I was asked. It's a yeah. lot easier to negotiate oh what gosh. you want when you're both exactly both on the same page. You're both happy, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. and you go, yeah, it might never happen, but just in case. But just in case. It's a lot easier to do it Let's that just way be fair. than when people. Yeah. yeah. All right. So the next question yeah. has to do with uh, a fiance and giving back the ring, or not <laughs> giving back the ring. Cheating right? fiance. Right. I thought oh. this one was kind of oh. juicy because he cheated not with like one person, but it was like several women and yeah. I guess she had a very she described it as a very large engagement ring so you know my joke was to her well you know it'll feel really good to throw it at his head right <laughs> like, <laughs> because not that you're condoning violence, right. condoning right. violence yeah. but um, but when it comes down to it it's a contractual piece of jewelry it's not a gift in the way that if he gave her a, a pair of earrings or a car or something like that this oh, is really like contractual, legally yeah so if you don't go through with the marriage legally it's not yours. It's not yours. Oh, no. See, I think oh. he forfeits that. Okay. He's been cheating. He <laughs> forfeits okay. it. She should go sell that ring <laughs> yes. and use the money to buy something I else. Have, I have <laughs> two, two responses, though. Okay. We don't know his side. This Probably not, you know, but we don't know his side. Right. And right. then also, right. why would face. you want to keep that? That right. memory. Yeah. Why would you want to keep that you memory? You cash it in. You <laughs> take it in. Yeah. You take, take it down, honey. Treasure hunt. <laughs> you cash it in, and then you take right. yourself well, on you a nice trip. On a nice trip. All right. Yeah. Okay. Next uh, question. I, I still say give go it back. Go to Aruba. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So this next question. Just yes. broke up with my boyfriend. Been together for a long time. She started dating her ex's friend. Yes. Which seems like a no-no, but I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, now the ex, awkward. Now the ex wants to get back with her. Right. And the friends had like had a falling out too. So this, oh. yeah, this is very so sticky. This was like a whole oh, thing. Is, yeah. Well, she claimed in the letter, in the full letter, that he was acting very much like a child in the relationship. She became more of like the parent. Like he, she always wanted him to grow up. And so I think there was a lot of resentment that built up over time. So she leaves him. 
falls for the friend, there's a falling out, mm -hmm. and then, you know, and now the ex now back. Isn't that a little childlike in, a, in and of itself? Yeah, like, Maybe I want she... my toy, give it back. Right. Well, yeah, yeah. doesn't yeah. he want her back because... He can't have her yeah, now, exactly. right? Exactly. But yeah. even on I her totally part, okay. dating the best friend, like, that's kind of, you know... But you think I mean, it's childish on her end? I think it's childish on her end, too. I think they're so. all acting like child. Okay. Exactly, and that's what I'm saying. Like, this whole thing, <laughs> that's so they're nice. all, right, so yeah. I mean, right, yeah. No, what was your advice? I I agreed with her on the side that, you know, you have to follow your heart. You have to be with people that make you happy. However, um, why is he trying to get you back right now? I think it's to what you said. Yeah. He wants what he can't have. Yeah, and this is a much. sign, in my she's opinion, attractive to him. you know, grow yeah. up. But at the right. end of the day, you are dating his used to be friend. This is awkward for him too. How much do you want to punish this person? It just sounded like there was a lot of dishes yeah. in the sink that never got done and right, this exactly. is how it like came That's out. That's such Very a good childish. phrase. There's a lot of dishes right. in the yep. sink. That, okay, we have time for yeah. one more. So, and this is someone who <laughs> confessed their love, professed their love. Yes. And this one was, oh, uh, this yeah, one was Yeah, it kind of breaks your heart. So, so, so with this particular um, page, they, they, okay, they were friends. They felt, well, he fell in love with her. She was with his children. She was they his were companion. Very close. They were super close. So he finally says, I'm in love with you. And she was like, how dare you throw away our 20-year friendship by professing, your, you know, confessing no. your love to oh, me. No. And so now she's mad at him because he doesn't want to talk to her friends. anymore. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, she's and she wants to know what should I do. And yeah. she just wants to be friends. She does not have the oh. same feelings. Correct. So she's almost. But see, I don't even believe that because I'm sorry. If you're around a man that much, mm -hmm. you're with his children, mm -hmm. you're traveling, you're. Come on, what kind of signal did you think I he were giving? Yeah. Yeah. It's sort of like you want your cake and eat it too. So he was asking, um, how do I get her off the fence and make up her mind to be with me romantically or to let me go completely without complicating his own feelings? So right. what did you tell him to do? I think he should walk away from the situation and remove himself because she's already told him yes. what she's feeling. But at the end of the day, even if she's not being completely honest, that is not fair to keep him in limbo. Yeah. Walk away and see what happens. Maybe six weeks, six months down the road, she may change her Get time. out there and date, but don't date her best. Best friend. There we go. Oh, <laughs> great one. Job. I agree. Oh, I got it. Right. <laughs> this is a lot of fun. We, lot love of fun. we love it when you join us. And look oh, for more Ask Natalie questions and answers online and in the Post Gazette. And that's also where you will find her scene column. <laughs> Watch for Natalie here on PTL <laughs> as a regular okay, contributor. <laughs> we don't know. Where are we looking? Which camera? Still to come.